Would you change your faith if there was a contradiction in the Bible? Now, there are three, no, sorry, there's 439 of these contradictions in the Bible. Well, this list is being put together by atheists. I have been going through it one by one, and I am so surprised every time I go through this list that every single time I, well, I delve into it more and I find that every time I do, I find out the contradiction, it's not a contradiction, yet I find out so much more because it reveals so much more and I feel like I'm going through a Bible study or a history lesson. And yeah, we've got something to go through. My name is Craig and this is Morning Star Quest where we are delving into the Bible as a journey, one question at a time. And yes, today we have the question, was Ahaz buried with his fathers. Now you might be thinking, well, what does this really matter? What does this really even matter at all? Well, the thing is, if there was a contradiction in the Bible, atheists say that, well, okay, if there's one little chink in the armour, well, should you even believe in the Bible? And then they say, well, hang on a minute, there are 439 of these things. That's a lot of chinks in the armour. I'm not sure if you've got any armour left don't believe in the Bible. Yet, when we come down to this, every time, I'm up to number 18 at the moment of 439. Yes, it's going to be like an eight and a half, nine year journey, but hey, that's all good. So, is this the one that is going to cause us to go, ha, huh, this is the first contradiction in the Bible. I think we might need to answer to this one. All right, well, let's have a look. Was Ahaz buried with his fathers? So, all right, Cosmo, can you give us 2 Kings 16, verse 20, please? Absolutely, Craig. Here it is. Ahaz rested with his ancestors and was buried with them in the city of David. And Hezekiah, his son, succeeded him as king. Now let's dive into the Chronicles account mm. to see if there's a contradiction. Now, it's Second Chronicles. Now, it says 1620, but that's, is that the right? Ah, good catch. It should be Second Chronicles 2827. It says, Ahaz rested with his ancestors and was buried in the city of Jerusalem, but he was not placed in the tombs of the kings of Israel. And Hezekiah, his son, succeeded him as king. Now, let's see how these accounts compare. Actually, just with that Second Chronicles one, did it actually say that he was not buried with the kings? Yes. In Second Chronicles 28, 27, it specifies that Ahaz was buried in the city of Jerusalem, but not in the tombs of the kings of Israel. All right. This, this... distinction implies he wasn't laid to... All right. And Interesting, so... isn't it? He is. We've got Second. one account saying Ahaz was buried with him. All right, so the first one with Second Kings, um, but that just says he was so, buried with his ancestors. We have one. Take your time. Ready when you are. Now, Second Kings. Correct. Second Kings suggests Ahaz was buried with his ancestors, but it doesn't specify if that means in the tombs of the kings. This leaves room for interpretation. Now, in 2 Chronicles, it clearly states he was buried in Jerusalem, but not in the tombs of the kings of Israel. Now, before we go too far, can you just give us who uh, King Ahaz is, uh, was, um, and how this all fits together? Of course. King Ahaz was a ruler of the southern kingdom of Judah, reigning in the 8th century BCE. He was known for his controversial reign, which included forming alliances with Assyria and introducing pagan practices in Judah, which were frowned upon by the prophets of his time. His reign is depicted in the books of Kings and Chronicles, where he's often portrayed as a king who led Judah astray from traditional worship. The question of his burial is interesting because it touches on how his legacy was viewed by later generations. Was he honored as a king in his burial? 
or was he set apart due to his controversial actions? So basically they're saying if he was um, a good king, he would be buried with the other kings. But because he wasn't, he was specifically not going to be buried with them. Exactly. In ancient Judah, being buried with the kings was a sign of honor and respect. The fact that Second Chronicles notes Ahaz was not placed in the tombs of the kings suggests that his reign was viewed negatively, leading to a less prestigious burial site. It's a reflection of how his actions during his reign were judged by his successors. I mean, could... Could the, um, what's the, the Second Chronicles one is very specific, but the other one, is there like a tradition or something in the Hebrew language back in the Bible um, days that with buried with the ancestors is just more like, um, like today we say about dogs, they went to the farm. You know, it's, it's not anywhere specific, but it's more of a saying. Is that a something specific that might have been said? All right, I think we've pretty, sorry, Cosmo's not working at the moment, but I think you can pretty well guess that really, I mean, you could say it's a contradiction, but really it's not. Um, it's got nothing to do with anything. And even if it is a contradiction, would it really change anything that the whole Bible is about our need of a saviour? We have we are living in a broken world. In the Old Testament, Jesus is prophesied over and over and over again because, and the reason why he needs to come is because of Ahaz as one of the kings is a bad king. There are so many different things that are happening in like in Second Kings and Second Chronicles. These are awful people. They are in need of a saviour just like you and me. And that's why Jesus needed to come to die on a cross for us. And there is proof that he existed. So that's even off the table. So really, this is not a contradiction. Um, it really doesn't make any difference to anything about faith because it's got nothing to do with that. It's really just showing that people are awful. So go do something awesome for God and click on one of these because I've got way more of these contradictions coming up. And we're up to, what, 19 next week. So Go do something awesome for God and click on that one and I'll catch you in the next one.